Hey everyone, Saru here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the very next volume of the PC Engine CD-ROM Capsule, Volume 3, here on Retro Japan. Welcome back to yet another Retro Japan special on the PC Engine CD-ROM Capsule, Volume Number 3. So, if you haven't seen my previous videos um, on these uh, special CD-ROM capsules, go ahead and check them out. I've done videos for 1 and 2, and they should be on the channel. Um, so, we are now going to take a look at Book 3. Uh, here is the insert for it. As soon as we open it up, we've got a spread for uh, some Falcom games and uh, Magical, well, all kinds of games, but here we have a Xanadu ad, Magical Street Fighter Champion Edition and some special goods. Here is the table of contents. And here the Super Soft Special Test Version, uh, Taikenban uh, which is the demo. Uh, in this version, we no longer have the little gorilla guy as the mascot for these, but we have these two children here, and they would become the mascots uh, for the uh, capsule books later on in time. Uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and look at the game demos that are in this. The first game demo is for uh, Pat Labor, which um, is based off of an anime. Uh, Ruin, which is an action RPG by... Uh, Pack in video, I believe. Uh, Might and Magic 3, Blood Gear, Sotsugyo or Graduation, and Nectaris. So this immediately starts off with the instruction booklets, much like the last book, it starts off with just instructions for the game. This one being um, just talking about Pat Labor. Um, actually, this is not really instructions as much as. Uh, this is just talking about what the game itself is going to feature. Mm, like mini games, there's like a Junkin mini game where you have like SD versions of the Griffin and, or whatever those robots are called. I'm not familiar with Pat Labor too much. Um, and then it randomly talks about uh, Pat Labor to the movie in it because, you know, why not plug something Pat Labor that's coming out at the time. And this is uh, for something called Ruin. Mm, Ruin is a really nice looking action RPG that I wished uh, I had finished and maybe someday I will. But uh, it's really nice, very colorful and um, really pretty, really pretty game. Gameplay is a little weird but it's not bad. But here's just some, um, oh, Phil and Cafe, apparently. Here's a interview with one of the uh, main, main programmer of the game. Here's a little short four coma, or like these four panel, four panel comics. There's a couple of them. Uh, some stuff about my, my Magic 3. Mm, this is uh, some instruction on how to do it and what all the icons are and so on and so forth. And then we got instructions here for Blood Gear. Blood Gear is a really interesting game. It's like an overhead RPG in most sections, but then you have your actual action stage sections, and uh, those parts play out really nice. And um, I really like I really like this game, and I, I wish that I had finished that too, but it's very Japanese heavy. Um, but the character designs are, are really nice. It looks like the same artist that did um, Riot Zone mm, or Crest of Wolf, whatever you want to call it. It looks like that same art style. I can't confirm if it is the same artist though. I didn't research prior. Mm, this is for graduation or Sotsugyo. This is one of those, um, what do you call those, dating sims. And uh, back then, this was pretty much riding on the coattails of Tokimeki Memorial. Uh, or Tokimeki Memorial by Konami. Mm, that was the game that really revolutionized um, what uh, these mm, dating sims would, would be like later on. Um, so Nectaris here, 
this in America is known as Military Madness. We won't really talk too much about it. Um, here is an advertisement for uh, CD Denjin, Rockabilly Tengoku. This is the Super Air Zonk game in America, which is not as good in my opinion. Uh, then you have an advertisement for Ruin. Ruin was the game that was coming out during the time of this book. Mm, and then here we have some uh, previews of games that are going to come out uh, that have not been released at this point of the publication. We have East for the Dawn of East and um, Akumajo Dracula X or Dracula X Rondo of Blood um, or Chino Rondo. This is uh, this is an interesting design here for Richter. I've never, um, I don't remember if it's in the instruction booklet or not, but I don't remember this specific illustration looking very much like concept art for Rondo of Blood. Uh, in my opinion, the best Castlevania of the 16-bit games, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, Kazuno Densetsu Xanadu, we've done a lot of talking about this because they've mentioned it in every single book thus far. Uh, this is a really good game with overhead RPG portions and 2D side-scrolling action portions. Really, really good stuff. Uh, this is Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, the Megami Tensei series is fairly popular in the West as well. And uh, Shin Megami Tensei was on the PC Engine. Uh, and then we have a Yu Yu Hakusho game. This Yu Yu Hakusho game is not fun. Hard to play. Uh, Emerald Dragon. Emerald Dragon is a RPG by uh, NEC that was fairly popular. We have Yawara, Yawara 2. Monster Maker. Godzilla. Um, Godzilla, in my opinion, plays much better in Japanese. I think the US version is unnecessarily hard for whatever reason. Now, here is something very special. This here is the introduction talks of the PC Engine arcade card, which I don't think was released at this time of the publication. Uh, but it's basically talking about the arcade card and its capabilities and what it does to improve the PC Engine to be able to play games like Fatal Fury 2, Art of Fighting, and World Heroes 2. And basically the arcade uh, card added a buffer RAM of 18 megs. Now we've reached the section of the uh, hyper manual basically explaining the hyper catalog. Here we have those three characters who are now our mascots for the CD-ROM capsule and hyper catalogs. We've got more of them here. This is basically just uh, explaining some of the stuff. These are the instructions for Blood Gear. Um, here we have these PC Genjin uh, Yonkoma. These are uh, four panel, four panel comics apparently, which you can see in here. Instructions for Might and Magic. Instructions for Nectaris. More Nectaris. Here's our little gorilla friend from the Gekkan PC Engine, uh, our monthly PC Engine magazine. Here is Ruin. Um, apparently. This version of Ruin is uh, an original scenario, so uh, I'm guessing that this has a scenario that's not in the original game for Ruin, for whatever reason. So I never actually knew that. I played through this whole scenario, um, but never actually played through the real game, which I have. And here is the PC Genjin Yonkoma, uh, basically the four panel comics. Uh, these are in the demo, and I'll go ahead and show these off once we get to the actual demo. Here is the making of the CD-ROM capsule. Um, one, two, and now three. And these are all the people who worked on the capsule project. Here are the previous ones, one, two, and this one being three. And then this is an advertisement for the next one, which looks nothing like this. I ended up getting this right before uh, Christmas, which was excellent because it was a, it's Christmas themed. Um, but then we have the hyper catalogs here, capsule one, two, and then the book for Foon, Kabuki, Kabuki Den, Tengai Makyo, and Gekkan PC Engine Magazine, or monthly PC Engine, PC Engine Monthly. Just an advertisement for the mag magazine. 
And then this is the end of the book. We have gotten to the CD-ROM cover, so like I explained in the last books, you use that to create your CD case and you cut them out and the CD comes in here. So that's pretty much it. So at this point, let's go ahead and check out the demos that come packed inside uh, this book. Alright, so that was the super cute opening with the two characters uh, who are now the mascots from this point on, uh, on the island there. Um, as per usual, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the PC Engine Hyper Catalog, just for a quick overview, if anyone hasn't seen this. Starting with uh, searching by media, uh, you could also search by genre, uh, maker, and uh, release price, the uh, secret code list, and alphabetical order. At the time of this demo, there were 491 PC Engine games released. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these bonk four-panel comics that are in here. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at one of them, just to see what it's about. So I don't have the slightest clue in what was happening in that comic, but next we're going to go ahead and take a look at the cinematic for Might and Magic, and then we're going to check out a little bit of the gameplay. thinking yourself worthy of invading my world. Walk carefully then through this third challenge and take heed your final decision is truly what you desire. For the course of destiny cannot be turned once set in motion. Until our next meeting, mortal. Now the opening to Might and Magic was pretty cool, I actually really liked it. Um, the game itself is your um, pretty standard dungeon crawler, you've got your party of people and uh, you can go ahead and buy them equipment and um, you pretty much just run into encounters and uh, some of the sprite work is really nice. Um, but some of it's really, uh, how do you say, pretty stale, but I guess because of the limitations of the PC Engine, that's what you get. But this is Might and Magic 3. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the demo for Pat Labor, which is a mo based on the manga. It's a digital comic game, so let's check it out.
ノアついに黒いレイバーと決着をつける時が来たぞえー、やだよまたアルボンスが壊れちゃうじゃないかお前まだそんなこと言ってるのか俺たちしかやつを止められないんだぞ待ってうるさいごちゃごちゃ言ってないで覚悟を決めろお前は東京を魔の手から救う勇者になるのだ PC エンジンスーパー CD ロムロム用ソフト機動警察パトレーバーグリフォン編にターゲットロックオン So, I always thought that demo was really badass, but I actually own the original game、uh, as of recent, but I haven't played it yet, so、uh, I'm slacking. Alright, so the next game we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is、uh, Nectaris, which is Military Madness here in the States.、Um, they constantly show this one in all the books. Japan really liked Nectaris back in the day, and、um, this isn't gonna be the last time we see it, unfortunately. But、um, let's go ahead and take a look at a little gameplay. That way, next time it comes around, I don't have to show as much of it. Alright, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is Blood Gear. This is a short playable demo of the game, so、uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just、um, play a little bit of this、uh, introduction here, and then we'll go ahead and get to the small playable part of the game. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at Ruin. Ruin is an action RPG that looks really nice.、Uh, graphically, it's really colorful.、Um, the demo itself doesn't actually get you into any parts of the game where you can play, per se. Like, you don't get to kill anything in the demo. It's just basically talking to people in the town, and it's like a, an original scenario for this specific demo. I don't know what the significance of it is. But one of the things I really liked about the game is that、um, it went from daylight to like evening to like night. So there's some sort of、uh, element of、um, time in this game, which、uh, is always neat, I think. So, lastly, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Sotsugyo or Graduation. Uh, it's basically a dating sim where you get to meet up with a bunch of chicks and、uh, you try to build relationships with them. And oh my god, look at this one, kill it with fire. And、um, it, it's like any other dating sim you build relationships with the girls,、um, you get closer with the one who you make the happiest, and blah blah blah. So,、um, this game, I'm going to go ahead and just、uh, skip to the little musical part of it. There is no real actual game to show here, other than this little character introduction and a little musical bit here. So, enjoy! Alright, everyone, so that does it for the PC Engine CD ROM Capsule Volume 3 and Hyper Catalog. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as underscore Sarumaru, so check me out if you want.
Huge, huge shout-outs goes out to my small but loyal group of patrons. You guys are awesome. If any of you want to be part of the Saru crew and check out some cool patron-only stuff, come check me out at patreon.com forward slash sarumaru. You don't have to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye.